Hey everyone, how's it going? This is Akash here and you are watching Tech Infinity. So in this video, we'll be having a look at the Android 10 for LG V30. Yes, you heard it right. This is Android 10. And I've been using Android 10 for about from two to three weeks. And I'm going to share my opinion about this update, what features it has and what kind of bugs are present. So as you can see here, it has the uh, latest standard security patch level as of now from 5th September 2019. And I have tried this one with the default kernel as well as Haumia kernel. I will be leaving links to the room and kernel down in the description below. You can get it from there. So the biggest bug that has been plaguing this particular room is the Wi-Fi bug. And the thing about the Wi-Fi bug is that it is completely random. So for some people, Wi-Fi works perfectly. For others, Wi-Fi does not work at all. And there are a few fixes which work for some people and not for some. So let me just quickly share what uh, the solutions are. If you do not get Wi-Fi, you can try flashing the audio modem. And yes, before flashing Android 10, do note that this particular room requires Android Pi firmware. So you either need to flash the Pi KDZ by LG or use the TR, uh, TWRP flashable zip that comes for your particular variant. As for the Wi-Fi fix, uh, you can either flash the audio modem and even if that does not fix Wi-Fi for you, then this is the solution that is present. And I'll be linking the solution down in the description below, right beside the like button and the subscribe button. And moving on, let me just quickly go here. And I'm using fluid navigation gestures here in this particular room. So let me just disable them and let me show you the full capabilities of this particular room. Now, another thing that is a little bit tricky here is Google Maps and Google Chrome. So Google Maps uh, does not work at all. I mean, the latest, latest versions do not work, but Google Maps, the older version, say 9 point something version or the earlier 10.0 Google Maps work well here. But on the recent Google Maps, there are issues with this particular room where you have to restart the device if you use that Google Maps. But Google Maps go work perfectly well here. And about Google Chrome, so if you want to use Google Chrome, you need to use Google Apps with this room that have web view patched in. So what does that mean? Well, from my testing, I have seen that BitG apps as well as OpenG apps do not have this web view. Uh, so with those, Google Chrome will not work at all. It will hang and just crash. But I'm using Nick G apps. I will be leaving links to that down in the description below. And with that, Google Chrome works perfectly. Now moving on to other stuff. Yeah, for this particular room, you need to use Magisk 19.5. So any Magisk below that will not work at all. So I'm using the Magisk version 19.5 here. So let me just quickly go back. And about the bugs, uh, the one good thing that I've noticed is that uh, the Google command that is the OK Google command works by saying it just once. Uh, unlike previous AOSP rooms where you had to say it twice, here uh, the command works perfectly. That's a good thing. Uh, the ABCD reset bug is still there. So whenever you are playing music, you first have to uh, disable quad DAC and then enable it again for it to work properly. But that was present on previous AOSP rooms as well. So nothing new there. Now, as you can see here, all the quad deck options are available here as well. And let me just quickly go here. Okay. So even LOS 17 isn't complete yet. So there are a few things here and there that do not work. So even if the options are being shown here, they don't really completely work here. Now, as you can see here, I tapped this show volume, volume panel on left, but that did not work. And even these button options do not really work that well. Now you have some gesture options. So here uh, the option is for gesture navigation. So as you can see, this is blacked out 
so I cannot use that. Now, there are very few launchers that support this. Uh, you can either use Google Pixel Launcher that requires special setup. I'll be making a separate video on that. But if you want to use uh, these Android Q gestures, you have to set the default home as this quick step launcher. So now, as you will see, uh, these options will be made available under here. So let me just quickly go here. And as you can see here, the gesture navigation is here. Now, this is the Android Q gestures and these are just amazing. You can swipe from right or left to open these. And you can swipe uh, from bottom up to open the home page. And you can swipe and hold for recents. And you can swipe from the bottom, bottom right or left corners to open up the Google Assistant. So these gestures are pretty nifty and I really like them. Now talking about the status bar, this is the quick pull down menu. And as you can see here, this works. The network traffic monitor also works here on this particular room. It did not work on a few builds back, but it works on the latest 5th October build. And you have the AM PM thing. And as you can see here, that works as well. But as you will notice that this battery percentage will not work. So that's minor bug here. And you have the brightness control thing. And that kind of works. And under buttons, you had the stuff that I've already shown you. And you have system profiles, status bar, gestures. And you even have touchscreen gestures and they work well here on this LOS 17 room. So you can set it up to do anything that you want. And in my opinion, that's pretty cool. So let me just quickly go back. Now what else is there? And okay. So under display, you'll find some interesting stuff here. Uh, the dark mode, the black dark mode is broken here. It just doesn't do anything really. And you have the option of using the dark theme here and this toggle, this particular toggle, when you switch it on, all the apps that are compatible with Android 10 automatically switch to the dark mode as well. So Google Fit, Google Photos, all these apps, when you turn on this switch, they will automatically switch over to the dark mode. So that's really nice to see. And here are some font size options. This is pretty standard stuff. And you have lock screen display content and you have different options here they don't really need any explanation and you have the always on display here and that works really well here i really enjoy that feature and it works pretty consistently the only thing that i've noticed is that the pocket mode does not work well so if you have your phone in your pocket uh, it might take some inputs onto the phone so that's one uh, kind of annoying thing but you have if you have a lock screen set up on the phone it shouldn't really be a very big issue now, other than that, you also get the standard other features that are available to Android 10 as of now in most phones. You have privacy permissions and one feature that I really like is that uh, you can give a location permission to particular apps uh, so that apps only have location permission when you have them open. And other than that, I have Okay, so the best thing about the LOS 17 room that I forgot to mention so far is the speed. So as soon as you will install this room and start using it, you will feel this crazy speed with this phone. And you will think that this is an entirely different newer phone, which is super fast. And same thing is reflected in the PUBG gaming performance as well. So gaming and speed, this room is amazing in that. And even the battery life, I saw that the battery life was much, much better for me on LOS 17 than stock pyrome and other than that there aren't really very big uh what you can say bugs as such there are a few hiccups here and there but you could use it as a daily driver if you want but if you want your phone to work really consistently you cannot afford any mishap with the phone and you are really busy most of the time then you should pr probably wait for more updates because this room is in alpha stage uh, I would kind of rate it as a beta stage room because Wi-Fi works for me. And yes, if Wi-Fi does not work for you from any of the mentioned methods, well, that's kind of bad luck for you. There is no other solution present right now. 
So that's pretty much it for this particular video. If you liked it, click on the like button and also subscribe to my channel for more such videos. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. I'll see you in my next video.